PagePilot Shopify tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the PagePilot for your Shopify store, also how you can use it. So basically it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you're going to be good to go. PagePilot is a platform that will help you get and put some research about the winning products that you're going to get for drop shipping. So how we can access that platform, we're going to type in on Google or any navigator, pagepilot.ai, right there, as you can see. Now we have the PagePilot landing page. It is free to have the uh, account right there for the beginners. So you are going to get your free trial. You're going to get three credits and these credits are going to be used to generate three products or uh, three specific uh, features. So you are going to head over this page, click on start your free trial. Then you are going to have the method of uh, getting right there uh, the um, account of a, a traditional way of uh, setting up the email and the password, or you can go ahead and connect your Google account. After you have a uh, sign up with, for the platform, you're going to see right there the dashboard. So we are going to see here the email address the name that we have put, the generated uh, products, the credit left, and the Shopify store. So if you do not have a, a Shopify store, it will help you right there uh, get a Shopify store for $1 or a free trial right there. And then you're going to select here the option to get the first month for $1. But here we are going to connect our Shopify store first. So we are going to click on connect. And as you can see here, we are going to put the website URL and the Shopify key. So right there, changing your Shopify live theme will affect pilot uh, page or page pilot published products. So we are going to do here is to put the link of or the URL of our Shopify store. How we can get it, we are going to head over Shopify, head over the online store. We are going to click on this I right there and it will pop up right there at the store. Now we are going to get the URL from here, copy it. We're going to head over here, put the, uh, as you can see, the website here. Now we are going to get the Shopify key and how we can get the Shopify key are going to follow up the instructions that you have here. So we are going to head over the apps. Then we are going to click on app and sales channels. Then you are going to select the next. So you are going to create an app and this app is named page pilot. You're going to put the developer right there and then you're going to click on next. After that, you are going to configure the admin API scopes and then you are going to set up the authorization, click on save and normally this is it. We are going right there to apply these steps on our Shopify store. We are going to head back. So make sure that you are going to focus in this part because it is very important to set up the app development. So we are going to click on apps here. Maybe it is going to be here uh, with some apps right there, but in my case, it is not because it is a new Shopify store. We are going to click on it. Then we are going to select the gearbox app and sales channel settings. It will open up this. So we are going to see the apps that we have installed. Now we are going to select develop apps here. Normally, in your case, you are going to get here some uh, before steps. So you are going to agree to create uh, this uh, page right there, and then you are going to create an app. So basically, you are going to agree to whatever it will say for you. Now we are going to click on create an app when this case show up. We're going to see the app developer, which is our email address. And by the way, this is only a uh, email address for testing and nothing else. It is not personal. So make sure to use your own information. Now for the app name, we're going to type in here, not the, uh, as you can see here, the link, but we are going to type in page pilot like that. We are going to write it. Then we're going to click on create app. Once you have did that, it is going to create this app. So we are going basically here to give the admin, uh, let's say here permissions for it. So this is the admission right there. Now we're going to select the scopes to get started. So we are going to click on this, which has the gear icon. Remember that configure admin API scopes. We're going to click on it. 
and then we're going to head over where there are the product so we are going to click on filter we are going to type in product and theme so we are going to see here products we are going to let it write and read products and the second one is going to be theme so we are going to let it manage uh, the theme template and assets so we are going to put it right there and if we go back to the page of page pilot we're going to see here everything so i'm going to back here so we have the products write products and read products themes write themes and read themes this is set now we are going to click on save and it is going to give us here or give the um, api for page pilot the permission to be setting up everything so the next step is going to install the page pilot we're going to wait for here uh, to install uh, select your api scope so we have selected the api scopes so we have the that and it was a matter of refreshing the page here we have the selected ones should be four as the image mentioned right there so selected four this is it now we are going to click on install the app click on install and here we have it now as you can see we have the api access token and also we have the api key so we need right there the shopify key so we are going basically here to have the api key so we are going to reveal the token ones and copy and paste it into this case i have here my key set up so i'm going to give you a glance at it only we're going to click on connect store and wait for it and as you can see it is connected this is how simple it is to connect our page pilot to the shopify store so now we are going to exit here from the parameters we're going to head over the page pilot so we are going to visit the dashboard so as you can see the shopify store is connected we have one so we have no shops left because of the free plan right there we have a credit left so we can go ahead and spend them to generate with their products so here as you can see we still have some steps to complete to set up the account now i am going basically here to go to the knowledge base which is going right there to help you uh, know well the onboarding or the uh, process on how we can work with the page pilot we have some documentation discord community to chat over the products and some frequently asked questions for the integration it is going to be here for shopify also we have auto ds we have the uh, search or research that will help you right there see the accounts of some influencers or some let's say here a product launcher or a product where there um uh ads onto uh, different platforms so you are going to get here uh, the statistics of the product for example this one we are going to play the ad here and then you can go ahead and see the statistics of this basically if you want to see that video you can go ahead and get an upgrade on the platform so you are going to get it here it is going to declare right there are the winning products so you can get here the ad library um let's say uh right there uh ads like clicking on here so it will show you where there are the ads on facebook uh, here we need a plan to set it up and also the website for that page and if you want to generate the product page you're going to import the product into page pilot and create a unique uh, and high conversion uh, right, uh, right there sales product page also i have forgot to mention which is uh, something that is it is crucial about this uh, platform which is page pilot as the name of it says page it is going to be here generated uh, or generating a page that is specific for a product so you can see where there are the partners which is going to be minea where there or minea or shopify and others so these uh, partners will help you where they generate a product so how we can work with it it is a uh, very simple so we are going to head over the dashboard click on generate then you're going to choose uh, the product source 
like Shopify or uh, AliExpress. Let's say here that we have a product in mind and we do not need the research. So we are going to choose one of the platforms. I'm going to choose AliExpress. So I'm going to head over AliExpress. And from here, we are going basically to search for a product. For example, here, I'm going to scroll down. Here we have the products. The above ones are going to be some collections or some special offers. So let's see something like this uh, I'm going to select this which is going to be maybe a good product since nowadays everyone is going to work with their PCs and they uh, or they are going to uh, work remotely they need uh, this table or this uh, laptop desk leg table so we are going to get here the link of it and you are going to put it into uh, here Aliexpress product link we're going to paste the product what the product angle should be you can go ahead and set up the angle that you want but you can go ahead and let it as optional i'm going to let it as optional click on generate and we are going to wait for the page until it will load up the product and create a page specific for it here it will get the help of the ai whether to generate a high conversion page also build the page layout the product page, the copywriting, and also the Facebook ads creatives. So it is going to take a little bit of time, not that long, but it is going to be here very effective. I have worked before with the page pilot uh, on a previous Shopify store, and the page that has created was uh, very phenomenal. So here, as you can see, the product page is generated. So here we have the reviews. As you can see, we have everything. The images are going to be like this. So the images are uh, generated from the descriptions. So for the product, as you can see here. So we are going to get all the images from here and there. And also it will get some um, images from the web. Of course, they are going to be here copyright free. So you are going to get here the call to action button in each one of the uh, product description image right there that you have. You have, as you can see, the generated, um, uh, not the generated, but the review of the clients. And these reviews are going to be normally from AliExpress since we do not have some uh, right there reviews, but it could be generated uh, and that is okay. And you can go ahead and see it right there. Now, if you want to get some more actions, you can go ahead and click on actions, import that page directly to Shopify, import it in AutoDS, uh, view the source, or if you want some tweaking right there, you can go ahead and download the HTML and put it. Now for the second part, which is going to be the Facebook as creatives, you're going to see it right there. And this is it. You generated three out of 10 maximum creatives for the product. You're going to see here the products, um, as you can see, um, creatives, and you can use these creatives onto Facebook. So we can go ahead and launch an ad for them. Here it is going to be with no video and the creative is going to be ready right there. So we are going to generate it and put it directly to Facebook. We're going to get everything from the description, from the emojis, from the images, and also from the, uh, here we have, uh, if you did not uh, notice, we have the URL of our Shopify store. So this is a ready creative. If I want to import this page into our Shopify store, I'm going to click on import. And now we need only to upgrade to generate mode right there to get this specific uh, product put to our Shopify store. So when you go to the dashboard, you're going to see here the generated products and you are going to see that it will use one credit to generate, to generate one a product. And with that, you're going to have here the access to this specific page on the products because here I haven't uh, already uh, added it because it will demand a um, or there uh, a plan so you can go ahead and view the page uh, and then you are going to choose the plan as you can see here and then you are going to put it so basically that was everything about the page pilot 
Now let's go back to the research. You can go ahead and see um, any of these, uh, as you can see here, add or from add library, and you can go ahead and generate a product page from it. So you can go ahead and get a plan. First, you need to get a plan, and then you're going to get the same thing. So you're going to get a video uh, or maybe let's say a photo diaporama to set up everything or a carousel to uh, set it up in the uh, uh, facebook ads manager of yours that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one